As far as God is concerned, your case is as good as solved. You just need to look up to him and let him take over that case. Let him in on the situation and watch as he makes your life easy. You won't have to do the work anymore, and you won't have to go through that situation all by yourself. God himself would take over, and you will have your peace. Don't give up now either, should you let that problem overpower you. You are more than a conqueror, and that should be your confession. That should be the thought you carry about and should be conscious of. Just have it at the back of your mind that you have a strong backing, and so cannot be defeated. Even when you are weak and weary, you should know that the Lord is there to help you. Stop seeing that problem as too big to be solved or that situation as impossible. The scripture says that with God, nothing shall be impossible. Sure, if you're dependent on your strength alone or are looking up to one person or the other, you might never get anything done. However, if you depend solely on and stand with him, nothing will be impossible for you. Situations will have no choice but to bow because of the presence of God that is with you, and obstacles would have to give way. Remember that gates open of their own accord when the King of Glory is set to pass, and hills melt before his mighty presence. It's this King of Glory that you have to look up to in dire situations of life. He will surely make a way for you and help you out of that situation that you find yourself in. Challenges will come. Situations that are far beyond your power or ability would attack you. The devil doesn't like you one bit as a child of God, so why do you think he'll let you be? He will keep looking for one thing or the other to bring you down and cause you to fall, and he won't stop until he's seen your end. Does that scare you? Don't let it, because Christ already prepared us ahead of time for times like these. We have been told that we would face many trials on earth, but the assurance that we have, the confidence that we should carry with us, is that in all of these things, we are more than conquerors. We have been made victorious through Christ. The war has been won even before the battle began. If you're in doubt, check through the scriptures and acquire the necessary faith you need to stand and withstand the devil. Isaiah 43 verse 1 to 2 tells us that when we go through the fires of life, God will be there with us and won't let the fires kindle against us. Similarly, when we go through the waters of life, the waters would not overwhelm us. Hold on to that promise and look to God when it seems as though you're facing the fires or the waters of life. You should expect those challenges to come up from time to time. The harder the challenge, the greater your chance of promotion. And all that will happen if, and only if, you don't give up. Once you give up, you let the devil win and give him a field day over your life. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to look at that challenge and cower out, running like a coward. He wants to be able to laugh in your face, and he will do that if you let him. He knows the power you have residing inside of you and the forces that you control. But all of that won't matter if you let him trick you into leaving the ring before the fight has even begun. On the other hand, you have God waiting for you to run to him to help you. Consider the life of David in the scriptures. He could have given up at any point and just thrown in the towel because of the various challenges that he faced. Yet, he chose to look up to God amid his battles, and God always came through for him. Even at times when he was surrounded and it looked as if the end had come, he would pray to God and a way would miraculously appear for him to escape. God is still the same God today. He's not changed and is ever willing to answer your prayers and hear your cry. 
David said in Psalms 121, verse 1 to 2, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. David was not looking to man for help any longer. He knew man would fail him. Instead, he decided to look up to God and claim his deliverance from the most powerful source on earth. You should do the same too. Look to God for that promotion. Even if the doctors told you that all hope is lost and nothing can be done about that health challenge, refuse that as your reality and instead take the situation to God. If he did it before, he will do it again. He is still the same God that made a way for the children of Israel to pass through dry land when they were between the Red Sea and the Egyptians. He was the one who provided manna from the heavens when there was no food and made water come out of the rock. God is still in the business of doing miracles and can turn your situation around in an instant. He will do that which no man can do for you, so just go to Him. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain when you go to God for help. So what are you waiting for? Don't give the devil a chance in your life and don't let him win this time around. You are a victor and winners never quit. Put on the attitude of a winner, even in that seemingly hopeless case. Let God work his wonders and weave his power over that case. You won't have to do the heavy duty, so stop trying to carry that burden on your own. Don't run to man either, because you won't find help there. It is normal to get tired at some point, because you are human after all. So you will be faced with problems that'll probably knock you down and make you want to give up. Elijah was a prophet of fire, and he did great exploits for God. Even at that, it got to a point in his life when he told God to let him die, because according to him, he was not better than his fathers. Jesus, close to the time of his crucifixion, cried out to God to let that cup pass over him. In essence, there is every tendency to become overwhelmed at some point in life and feel like giving up. The key is not to let that feeling get the better of you and to overcome those fears. It's not over until God says it is. So don't give up on God. Don't give up on yourself either. If Lazarus could be awakened from the dead after four days in the tomb, God can revive that situation that seems dead to you right now. It's time to strengthen your faith and trust in God. Look up to Him and Him alone. He has said that those who put their trust in Him will never be put to shame. So let Him take control of your life and that situation. You're probably about to give up because you don't know what else to do. But all hope is not lost. When you're in trouble and don't know what to do, just remember that you have someone up there who can bring answers to you and meet you at every point of your need. He will make a way for you and grant you the desires of your heart. Cast your fears and burdens upon Him and let Him help you. Gather courage and encouragement from the Word of God and let it be your comfort in trying periods. Be like Job, who refused to curse God or say anything rash when he was being tested. Even when friends, family, and circumstances are pushing you to give up, don't. Stand on the promises of God and look up to Him. He will surely come to your aid.